Getting the wrong mail stresses you out. Would you like to tell me a little more about that? Ed? Ed. Yes. This letter you got, you said it wasn't yours? But it did come in your mailbox. It, it did. Can, can you help me out here? What, what, what happened? Start at the, the mailbox? If you'd like. Okay. Uh, it was like any other day, I guess. Um, I, I got home from work and I checked my mailbox. Uh, nothing special, just the same old stuff. But there was, there was this one letter. This one letter. We can come back to this. No. We need more time. No. It's okay. We, we can talk about this now. Okay. If you'd like. The, the weird part was it wasn't even addressed to me. It, it was addressed to Kevin. He's my neighbor. So dropping it off was a simple task, but it became a hassle when I saw his mailbox. The flag was still up. I guess the mailman had missed it. Uh, so I thought I would drop it off on his doorstep. Uh, Kevin wouldn't mind. But on my way, I noticed something on the letter. It was the emblem for, for the hospital. And I got this feeling like I had to bring this letter straight inside. Like I had to make sure it got to Kevin. So this letter seemed pretty important to you. Did you bring it to the door? Did you bring it inside? I brought it to the door, as I had planned, but I noticed that the door was open a crack. Not even locked. Kevin usually doesn't get home until about 8-ish. Um, works a lot. He's a, he's a dentist. Um, so I thought I'd bring it inside. Kevin wouldn't mind. We go way back. So I went inside and put it down on the countertop and I got this nagging feeling as if as if I was delivering terrible news. Um, and it was at that moment that I knew Kevin needed me. I opened it without a second thought. That letter was just there, screaming at me to read it. I had to make sure that Kevin was okay. As I read through it, my stomach dropped. It said he was diagnosed with uh, some kind of psychosis. I was at a total loss. I couldn't figure out what to do. What to say? What could I say? Maybe he already knew? That'd make my job easier, but I couldn't just leave. I couldn't. I was Kevin's anchor to reality. I had to be there when he came home. I waited past dark, and I could only sit and wait until he finally arrived. Two hours passed, and I had, I had nothing. Nothing to say to comfort poor Kevin. Who are you? What are you doing in my house? I, I was waiting. I had, I had to show you this. This letter is yours. This isn't mine. Kevin, Kevin. 
you're delusional. This letter is yours. This isn't mine. Get out of my house. That doesn't make any sense. Um, uh, Kevin, uh, Kevin, you you need help. Let me help you, please. Ed, may I see the letter?